Hey Success Inside It, it's Tim here and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how to stay focused. Now this is a very very important topic for me because focus really determines the quality of your life. Whatever you focus on your attention is going right so if you're focusing on everything let's say you're letting the news outlets and all this bullshit media get the better of you if your focus is going on that, I'm afraid you'll get to a stage in your life where you turn around and you think to yourself, holy shit, where's my life gone? You know, I haven't lived the life I actually dreamt about. I'm not living the life I was born to live. And that's the scariest thing about it is all these news outlets, all these bloody Facebook fan pages, which publish all this popular content, let's say Vine videos, prank videos, it's about some murder. They just want your attention because wherever attention goes, the money flows. It's all to do with money, it's all to do with agenda of advertisers, and they want to waste your time. They want to waste the most valuable resource you've got. And so you have to come to that level of high awareness and realize, I'm not gonna let them control me. I'm gonna stay focused on my personal mission. There are going to be five steps that I need you to follow, right? It's so important for you to take down all five in order to grasp the bigger picture. It's like a wheel, right? You can't just walk away having just taken down one step, otherwise you would be left with a half a wheel and that definitely wouldn't roll. So, let me start by saying the first point. The first point, as I hinted earlier, is to do with your personal mission. What are you actually trying to accomplish? What is it? For example, for me, the personal mission, the reason why I work seven days a week, the reason why I do YouTube even after work, when I come home, it's truly down to the fact that my personal mission is to empower a million men to live the life they was born to live by helping them become the person they was truly born to be. That's my personal mission. So I can't let the focus divert because my personal mission is to help guys like you to become the person you was born to be. So I can't get distracted by these prank videos. I can't get my attention grabbed by some news headline, which is some bullshit, another article, fear-mongering, I don't let, I don't let them get the better of me because I'm in control of my own destiny. I'm in control of my life. So it's important for you to state your personal mission. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, make it a big personal mission and really, really stand and believe it. This is what your purpose of your life is about. And so once you have a really concrete personal mission, nothing else can get in the way. And you can start turning down opportunities that's not to do with your personal mission. And if you want me to go a bit more deep into personal mission, just let me know, as this is something I go through with my coaching clients, uh, because this is really important. If you don't have a firm personal mission, it's, you know, you're, you're likely to have your attention diverted. You have to have something that you truly believe in and you truly stand for, and it's truly your purpose right, the purpose of your life. So, that's the first point. It's about defining and standing by your personal mission. The second point, guys, is about getting rid of distractions. You are probably expecting to hear that, but here is a little fact. It's a great reminder. If you're not doing what you know, you don't know. So, let this be a reminder for what you actually know. Take action on it. Distractions is a killer. As I stated earlier, social media is, you know, especially Facebook nowadays, the way they're turning it into almost like a news outlet, it's lethal. You know, for example, seven years ago, when I used to let my attention go everywhere, I remember I used to go onto Facebook, just give myself like, let's say five minute break on Facebook, and I would jump on my phone or my laptop and I'd be scrolling and I'd see a news. Oh my God, uh, there's a, a murderer that's escaped out of a cell and I'll click through and I'll go into the BBC website and then uh, I'm reading an article and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And all of a sudden, like there's another article, the cutest kittens alive. Click through to that article and then there's another article after that I, I read and it's about, I don't know, best, best watches for men. And all of a sudden I check my time and holy shit, half an hour has passed. This is what I like to call browser blackout. You promised yourself you'll be five minutes, but you're wasting your time because you're letting these platforms get the better of you. Their agenda is to get your attention using your own psychology by invoking fear, 
by invoking humor, invoking curiosity. So don't let them get the better of you. Whenever you're you know, on these social media platforms, maybe you're just wanting to see what your friends are doing, I don't know, just make sure you skip over the shit that you know will make you do a browser blackout because it's a lethal, lethal thing that can waste your life. Literally, if you're wasting half an hour of your valuable time just you know, reading content that doesn't move your life forwards, that doesn't help your life, you know, this is a, an average behavior and this YouTube channel definitely doesn't support average people. So let's quit being average. Let's stop letting these social media pages as well as news outlets get our attention because we're more than that. We're more valuable than that. So the second point, get rid of distractions. Third point is about manage time. Well, firstly guys, you have to realize how valuable time is. Time is something that you will truly, truly never get back. And once you grasp the fact that we are actually ticking, our life is ticking, every single second is part of our life. And I remember there is this um, website that shows how many hours you've actually got left to live. And once you put it into that perspective and not into a perspective of years, you realize, holy shit, an average age, let's say 75 years old, we haven't got that much time left, right? You have to realize that time is truly limited. And by the way, that's an average age. People can get hit by a bus and people do get hit by a bus or die in another ways. Your time is limited and nothing is guaranteed. There is no guarantee for tomorrow. You know, there were people here that was yesterday that aren't here today, right? You have to treat every single day as its last. You have to treat every single day as if it was your last. And that's how I get this sense of urgency and that's why I take immediate action in my life. I come to a realization like, holy shit, if I die tomorrow, you know, what would I do differently today? That's what I always like to think to myself. Realize the value of time. And once you've realized it, you have to start managing time. Managing time is all about basically creating a schedule, right? The highest performers on this planet all have a schedule. So if you do want to allocate a time for a break where you can browse freely, well, schedule it in, but you have to stick to that agenda and you have to punish yourself if you don't stick to it, okay? So important that you keep a really rigid schedule of your day. That's how every successful people on this planet live their life. They, they basically schedule everything in. So this is how I operate as well. So the third point is about time management. Okay, the fourth point is about creating a to-do list, right? So I want you to write down everything that you actually want to accomplish. Put it in order of importance and that has to be aligned with your personal mission. How important is it in regards to what you believe in, what your purpose of your life is, right? And by the bottom of the list, by the way, you'll find these pointless to-dos that actually is not part of your personal mission. And so you can simply wipe that away, right? So once you create this to-do list, basically begin with the hardest task first, right? Because when you wake up during the day, you've got the most amount of energy. So it's important to tackle the hard things first and then get to the easier things, right? As you ease off into the day. So when you're the most productive in the morning, usually make sure you're tackling the hardest tasks first. That's what I always do. So fourth point is about creating a to-do list in line with your personal mission. Okay, the last point is about setting regular breaks. You see, we can only maintain peak performance for, you know, usually it's around half an hour to 45 minutes. So what I suggest is you do set a lot of regular breaks, but you don't basically go over the break the minute um, allocated you've set yourself, right? So you don't basically cheat yourself. If you told yourself 15 minute break, you do a 15 minute break. You have to become rigid and you have to punish yourself if you do break it, right? It's important you take this thing seriously if you really want to stay focused. So you have to basically set these regular breaks as it does actually interrupt the pattern of your brain. It does help you to increase productivity. What I suggest as a break, the best thing to do is not jump on your phone and jump on Snapchat. Best thing to do is basically go for a walk, get some fresh air or meditate. Meditation, I would totally 100% recommend. 
is probably one of the best forms of break because you're really calming the inner mind but by the time you come back to do whatever you're trying to accomplish you'll feel refreshed you'll feel like a new and that's the key right so take regular breaks guys but don't cheat yourself at the same time and so that's pretty much it this is what i do every single day that's how i stay focused in my life you know but the most important thing for me is the the first point i mentioned right the first point in regards to my personal mission that's why i don't let my mind get the better of me whenever i'm faced with distractions which is every single day there's newspapers there social media like in this day and age everything's trying to distract us because i know my personal mission and because i stand firmly by it nothing can get in my way and i can get stuff done and that's why i can work seven days a week and that's why I make decisions and I can say no to people if it's not aligned with my personal mission. So yeah, it does sometimes affect my social life, but people are on a different journey to me, you know, and my personal mission reflects that as well. If somebody isn't in line with my personal mission, I'm afraid I have to upgrade my peer group and trade up, hang around with people who have got the same, similar personal mission as me. If this video has helped you guys, please click that like button as that gives me a really good feedback of what sort of content you like. If you've got any questions, remember you can ask me anything in the secret group by going to the link in the description box below and joining our Facebook private group for our Inner Tribe members. As always, follow your heart and take action. I'll see you in the next video.